What's going on, everyone? Christian Pick Dogs.com here with your free pick in the Portland Trailblazers versus Cleveland Cavaliers NBA matchup going down Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Just a reminder if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to pickdogs.com and click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Portland Trailblazers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Portland Trailblazers currently on the second half of the back-to-back -back in this one, taking on the Utah Jazz on Tuesday in the first half as part of the NBA in-season tournament. Meanwhile, the uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, coming into this one with a record of 4-6 and six on the year, 3-7 uh, and seven against the number this season after ending up with a 132 to 120 loss at the hands of the Sacramento Kings, now alternating wins and losses in each of their last seven games. So if you're a believer in patterns and stuff like that, maybe you assume that this is a spot where uh, Cleveland gets back on the winning track. But the problem that I have with Cleveland is that I just don't know if a 10 and a, uh, uh, four and six team, three and seven against the number team should be laying 10 and a half points against anybody. You know, sure. Portland is going to be on the second half of the back to back in this one. And it's never easy to play on the second half of a back-to-back, -back, especially because when you have the rest disadvantage. And normally I would try to throw out trends in, in history about teams that, you know, have, have dealt with that. The problem is, is that those trends kind of go out the window because this is a very, this is a pretty much new look Portland team hasn't really played together on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. So, you know, you just got to take that for what it is. But that being said, you know, we are filming this video before the, um, before the end of Tuesday's action. So we don't know how Portland necessarily fared in that game against Utah. But I will say this about Portland, and if you follow me here at Pick Dogs and you follow my NBA videos, and you know we've been talking about it on our morning shows as well, you just look at the makeup of this Portland Trailblazers team, and it's not the makeup of a team that you would figure to be one of the worst teams in the NBA, as many crowned them to be coming into the season. I mean, you look, sure, you know, no Scoot Henderson stinks. Some Malcolm Brogdon was injured on um, going into Tuesday's matchup. He was ruled out. We'll see if he ends up shocking the world and playing. But either way, if he doesn't, it is what it is. We knew that going into it. But even then, Shaden Sharp, solid. Matisse Thibel has been a solid defender back to his days in Philadelphia. Skylar Mays is decent. Jeremy Grant is one of those sort of underrated players, in my opinion. You know, one that doesn't necessarily always get enough love. Um, you still got a young guy in Chris Murray that's going to be a star. Jabari Walker's a stud. Um, DeAndre Ayton, a former first overall pick. This is a solid lineup for... The, uh, the Portland Trail Blazers that will be able to con contend. If I looked at this lineup on paper and didn't even know the backstory behind it, I would have thought this could maybe be a 39-win team, a team that potentially you know could crack the last play-in spot in their first year together. So this is a solid Blazers team, and one that I think that there's a stigma with that people still hear, oh, well, this team should have been, or coming into the season, this team's going to be one of the worst in the NBA, and they're being priced as such by odds makers. I just don't see it. The Cleveland Cavaliers, sure, they've got... Uh, They've got um, Donovan Mitchell, and they've got Evan Mobley, and, and Darius Garland, all these guys. But it hasn't translated to the biggest you know, amount of success on the court. And like I've said before in, multi in multiple other games, the books don't care about your talent level. They care about who covers the spread. And like I said, Cleveland has just been far too inconsistent for my liking to be able to trust, especially on the road this season, where they've been taking losses more often than not and, and failing to cover. So... Give me the Portland Trailblazers here, plus the 10 points, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.